Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I'm going to go over how you can set up ExpressVPN on your gaming console, smart TV, or any other device that is not natively compatible with ExpressVPN. Of course, if you're interested, by the way, in checking out a full review on Express, because this is not a review, you'll find that in the description below, as well as a discount link if you end up getting ExpressVPN, which should save you some extra money. Okay, so the way this works is, first of all, as you can see right here, we do have these three ways, and I just wanna explain how these work. Now, the first one is very straightforward. You just buy an ExpressVPN router and you're good to go. It's pre-installed and operating the router app is actually incredibly easy. It's almost as easy as using the Windows application here, but with the router, you'll have a little bit more control here and there. And of course the router settings that you would expect. Okay, so you can either go for the AirCove or you can go for something that is compatible with Express. Now, the cool thing about AirCove is that it comes pre-installed with ExpressVPN. You can install ExpressVPN yourself on your your router but you will need a compatible router in which case you want to take a look at the list of compatible routers which usually is available if you just go to router vpn and you scroll all the way down here and you'll see what routers work with vpns and you'll see a good list here that will overall just give you an idea so if you don't have any of these you might want to buy one of these models or just get the air code from express now, the second method here is using the media streamer service. Now, the way this works is you first have to register your IP address and you can do that after having purchased a plan with Express and everything. You can go to your profile here on the dashboard and click on DNS settings. Once you're in the DNS settings, you want to make sure that you register your IP address and from there you'll get your media streamer IP address. So let me just show you on this page right here. So once you have logged in, you can register your IP address. After that, you want to get your media streamer IP address, which you will find in your profile. All I have to do again is go to your dashboard and go to setup devices. And from here, you can go to media streamer and this is your media streamer IP address. Okay, so once you've got your media streamer IP address, this is where you have to go to your console or TV that is not compatible with the VPN. Even though most recent monitors and TVs have built in Android within them with the Play Store, so you should be able to download the VPN. But again, if you can't, you can use media streamer and all you have to do is just put the media streamer DNS that you got in your network settings with your either TV or console, and then wait for your TV to check your connection. And from there, again, just input the settings manually and then check if the connection is successful. Again, this works also on the PS4 and 5 and Xbox, and it is as easy as that. Now, the only thing about media streamer is that you can change servers with media streamer. So it'll give you IP addresses from the UK and the United States, and that's about it. So this is the drawback of using media streamer now the last method which is my favorite method is just simply casting or mirroring so what you need to do is basically get express vpn on your mobile phone or tablet or whatever it is and from there you can simply use the cast feature make sure that the mobile phone and the tv are connected to the same wi-fi network and from there you'll be able to just cast or mirror your screen and on your phone you can have express vpn turned on and essentially stream from your phone alternatively what you can do that this is a fourth method you could say like a bonus method is use the wi-fi hotspot of your mobile device and turn on the vpn on your mobile device Make sure that it's on and then use that mobile phone again as the hotspot that your monitor or console will be connected to. So essentially, whatever server that you're connected to on your mobile phone will be reflected on the TV because again, the TV will be connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot of the mobile phone, which is using the VPN connection. So that's one easy way of doing it as well. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to let me know what you learned. And if you have any questions, please also let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. Again, if you guys want to learn more about Express, I'll leave a review below alongside a little discount that should hopefully save you a little more money if you end up getting ExpressVPN. So that'll be it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.